yesteryear's victories come alive. Kegels 24, Champagne's 8 ball, and the incredible Batmobile headline a car collection second to none. The Champions Park Lug Nationals, plus the Wheels Discount Auto Supply 358 Championship. Then Sunday, it's the big one, the richest race drivers like Jeff Trombley, and yeah, for Andy Fusco as well. Summer means the Skull Super Dirt Series. It's time to get serious. The points are on the line. Here's Larry Newber with the report. The Skull Super Dirt Series, 22 races spanning April to October, running long track, short track, paved track, many tracks the drivers visit only once each season. All the drivers will tell you it's the most difficult title to win in dirt. Now this isn't the car that won in 1991, but it sure is the driver. Besides being an, an, an endurance contest, it's a contest to see who came into the thing best prepared, really. I think uh, to win that series, uh, your ducks have to be in a row before the thing even starts. Uh, you got to make sure that you've got the financial backing and you've got your equipment lined up and everything's ready to go when the series starts because once you get into the thing, if you get caught behind, you never get caught up. Well, the hardest part is going to so many different size and shape racetracks. You meet a lot of different surfaces. Um, the track conditions change quite a bit. You've got to learn your race car and learn your tires to really keep up with the guys. The series is rewarding for those successful and because of its prominence, it can also be very frustrating. Kenny Tremont, for instance, has finished in the top five of points five times since 86. And Doug Hoffman, in the same Hearn-dominated era, has finished bridesmaid three times. Well, we're kind of tired of finish second in that deal. And uh, last year we were real strong on the blacktop. This year we want to concentrate on being real strong in the dirt. I think we're getting geared up at the right time of year here, headed right into the start of the school series. It's a long, tough series. We're just going to do our best. Do you feel like you have an advantage on the long track, the short track, maybe the paved tracks? Is there one place where you feel more comfortable than elsewhere? I don't really think so. When you get the grind of the school series going, I think you hit on a night, you feel good no matter where you are, and then another night if you're off, well, it doesn't make a difference if you're on a mile or a quarter mile. It's all terrible. I think it's worth it, especially for the sponsors and the younger guys that are doing it. It's, got, it's real exciting. It's fun to travel around and go to all the new tracks. and. Uh, but I think after you've done it for a while, it gets to be a grind. Year-end money is paid on season point totals, occasionally creating a conflict. Do you charge for wins or cruise for points? Dr. J has eight top five point seasons since 82, and although never close to winning, he's the favorite this year. Points are just something that cut, that's like a little extra bonus, and uh, you know, every race, you just gotta race for that race, and uh, you know, do the best you can in each individual race. Deeply rooted in the glorious modified traditions of the Northeast, this is the 21st season of the Skoll Racing Super Dirt Series. Past event winners include Toby Tobias Sr., Lou Lazaro, Buzzy Rudiman, and Donnie Kreitz Sr. And the significance hasn't been lost, even bringing back to dirt Winston Cup drivers who have won. Ty Scott, Gary Ballou, Kenny Schrader, and in 1989, believe it or not, Jeff Bodine.